Welcome to Entertainment News. Yes, and our first story today is from Basket Mouth. He releases a statement over an insensitive rape joke that he cracked earlier on. Now, Nigerian comedian and actor Bright Opokta, aka Basket Mouth, has released a statement over a controversial rape joke he made at a certain time. It all started when the comedian was listed as a guest alongside other Nigerian celebrities as an advocate for the European Union in Nigeria's campaign against sexual and gender-based violence and then he was taken off. According to the campaign, to get him off the roster, the comedian is a rape apologist who has made jokes about rape and therefore is not fit to represent women and the issues that they face. Basket Mouth has, however, taken to his Instagram page to release a lengthy statement on the issue. He put up a photo collage of a number of women, including his daughter, his wife, Busala Dakolo, and other females with the caption, and I'm quoting, Almost every morning in the blogs, on the news, there's a picture of a man sitting on the floor pleading. The caption is usually in the line of, It's the devil's handwork. And the topic is from underage defilement, rape, or brutality against the woman or minor. I live in this same world with my most prized possessions that is my wife my two daughters my sisters and women who have built me into the man that I am I was recently presented an opportunity to create awareness on the e efforts of the UE or rather of the EU to bring support to fighting this scour scourge now it was a no-brainer for me and I refused any compensation for it and volunteered to lend my voice because it is our fight it is not for the EU, it is for my girl's future. Hmm. Hmm. It then continued and I quote, Unfortunately, a few years ago, I shared up a Facebook post that I thought was shedding light through humor to entitled um, crude and very present behavioral pattern of some African men who equate spending to sexual favors. But I also realized then that women actually have to face this daily and it's arrowing and I deeply apologize for it. I sincerely pray that this does not take away from the most important fight of our our lives, the fight to secure our future because the girl child is our future. I strongly appreciate the EU for this amazing platform to improve our lot as long as the message reaches the ears of those who need it. Then it's a win. To every woman, our mothers, sisters, lovers, wives, crowns, supporters, prayer partners, foundation, life. Thank you for being who you are. So many times you sacrifice who you are for a man to become who he wants to be. It's time we all love and also support you like you do us. Cause in your light, we all shine. End quote, bless. Hmm. So Basketball has spoken finally about this issue. What do you girls have to say about this? Okay, so, oh wow. All right, so can we compare this to what happened to Kevin Hart? Mm. With the LTG, LBGTQ, you know, LG. yeah, a very, yeah. very similar. Yeah, I very similar, can, right? Yeah. Yes. So um, I don't know if we should say that. Yeah, there are times that we make mistakes, and they are very costly ones. Uh, but then I, I think it, it, this would make us always think about stuff before we, we do. Stayed these things, mm -hmm. especially with uh, comedians. Comedians, yes. Yes. So I understand that this job is very hard. Uh, making people laugh and all that and then you're looking for what is that thing that you Issues can always around. put together and all that but huh, because i have experienced this before like somebody was making a joke about my body parts and and i'm like well, before you came here you didn't have jokes <laughs> and then it was it's not it, funny. So, so 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 the person i stood up at that event so we're sharing the mic i'm like oh so you want to bring somebody down so the owner of the event quickly ran there to stop so because it's so irritating sometimes i mean every time when you do this mm. especially with a sensitive, sensitive case issues, like this or issue like this do you get so so I, I, mean, I feel like um, I'm happy that he came out to apologize, even though, you know, many years have passed since he made this statement. And, you know, sometimes people feel like I said this so many years ago, get over it. No, we cannot get over it. You said it and you have to have an answer to this statement. If this was your stand many years ago, let us know what your stand is right now. And there's something that I particularly don't like about what is currently happening in situations where it almost feels like until you are called out, you see no need for remorse. You see no need to apologize for statements that you make. It almost feels like um, women are the butt of sexual jokes and it is what it is because it's a man's world. So I'm happy that things are changing and it's coming out like this is not right. Don't joke about stuff like that. There are so many things to joke about. 
why have to, why do you have to joke about stuff that women are actually facing on a daily on basis? basis it's not a joke when a woman is harassed in her office in her school she's harassed in her home so when you're joking about it it's very very insensitive and i'm happy that he has seen reason um to apologize for this his statement okay um, hopefully, um, this was him. It was supposed to be part of the forum where people were talking about this issue. The EU, they've removed him from the flyer. Hopefully, do you think they'll put him back I, since he has apologized in fact, for that this? Sh that, that shook me a bit. I'm like, will they even return him? Okay, maybe I, I, for future. Be honest, maybe for future. She said he events. volunteered because yeah. he wanted to he lend his voice out. So if they don't put him back, he can keep volunteering on you his own personal ways. platforms. Let, he can actually yeah. um, get start the change, and... get on stage and actually talk about about it and keep the conversation going. So I don't really think it changes anything because it was, if it was a pay job, we'd say, okay, perhaps this took some yeah. bread out of yeah. his, you know, his pockets. Pockets. But nothing changed apart from him volunteering. So he has come out to actually do this on his social media platform. So I really don't think that matters okay. at all. Mm -hmm. We learn from mistakes like this and I think that everybody should just learn from this. We should learn from other people's experiences. And also too. learn that social media is a place that doesn't forget because a lot of people are coming out on social media, girls and guys posting things that, you know, they feel like nobody's ever going to catch them on. Ten years down the line, somebody's going to fish it out for post, you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> moving okay, on, though. moving on. Mm. Fuse ODG clears the air about his limited airplay statement. So Ghanaian artist Fuse ODG has cleared the air about a statement he made asking for limited airplay of Nigerian songs by Ghanaian DJs. It all started when he put out a tweet on his Twitter page saying, if you be Ghanaian DJ, where you know go play songs from underground, uh, what's Act. that? Act? Mm -hmm. I beg, you just limit your Niger content. Okay? So now, because um, if Nigerians had this opportunity, we all know what's going to happen. Let's sell Ghanaian music to these visitors properly. And with the hashtag Year of Return, Fuse ODG has, however, shared a video on Instagram TV where he explained that he would never ask for Ghanaian DJs to quit playing Nigerian songs to promote Ghanaian music, but rather uh, what he's asking for was limited airplay for Nigerian music in favor of Ghanaian music. Let's check out this clip. Yes, Fuso DG here, and I'm here to discuss this whole issue about Nigerian music being played in Ghana. So first of all, all of this is actually based on a retweet. It wasn't an actual tweet for me. I RT, the young, talented Ghanaian artist who was frustrated about not getting airplay, which I can sympathize with as an artist because it's not easy as an underground artist on a come up in any country. But I guess there's a few things that we need to address. Um, one of them is he said limit, not stop. I've seen a lot of headlines saying that I want Nigerian music to be, you know, not be played in Ghana. But if you know me as an artist, if you know me as Fuse ODG and my philosophy, you would know that I would never say anything like that because I have too much love for Africa. I have too much love for Nigeria and its people and its music. And I'm even blessed to be one of the few non-Nigerians to be embraced by the country. In case you do not know, Fuse ODG is best known for his 2013 smash hit song Antenna, which peaked at number seven on the UK singles chat. All right, now let's talk about this. And this is um, some case of misyarning in a way to and coming back to correct it. Uh -huh. I, I'm... <laughs> really? You why really do, think why so? did I even have to take the Ghanaian just? <laughs> like... You become just Ghana, Ghana. Ghana. <laughs> Well, do you have to see for us <laughs> <from Ghana? laughs> I had a nice time. expecting that, but do you really think he was Miss Yanning? Okay, so, um, okay, so you know how people say stuff and then they quickly come to correct it because, it or maybe that was not what you intended, but people got well, it, really in the wrong, way. yes, the wrong message. And so you just quickly come back to correct it. So I think it's still safe. And you know how, you know, these things are very sensitive That's to when you're yeah. talking about different countries, mm -hmm. especially with the fact that even just yesterday, somebody sent me a message like, oh, be careful out there because um, some Ghanaians were locking up the shops Nigerian of some shops. Nigerians and all mm. that. Yeah, so somebody was like, if this case is not uh, being taken care of uh, properly, like it could actually lead to what happened in, in South, South Africa. Africa. So wow. uh, we are always brothers and we are no visitors to oh. all of them because we are Africans. And, and as Bonner Boy said, that I, I refuse to be called 
a foreigner. Mm -hmm. I refuse to be called in a Africa. foreigner in Africa. Mm. We are Africans. Well said. I mean, like, I do understand your point where it feels like if you're uh, in a place of influence or you're like a huge voice, like a fuse ODG, um, you have to be careful about what you're saying so you don't instigate violence amongst the people in your country. But then perhaps it is a case of misinterpretation of what he was saying because he did say, I'm not saying not play, I'm saying limit. Is there a problem with that? Well, there is no Here problem with in that. Nigeria, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, most of our playlists on the radio, on the TV, is Nigerian music. We love our music. When we play Ghanaian music, South African music, it's almost like flavor or, or something mm -hmm. different to add to the mix. But you don't see on our countdown eight Ghanaian songs and two Nigerian songs. No, you see all Nigerian songs or eight, nine Nigerian songs and one Ghanaian song. So and that doesn't mean that we don't love their music. It's just that we're supporting our own. And I don't think there's anything wrong for him to say, these are my people. Let us um, allow each other, the people that are the real you know, nationalities, enjoy some of this airplay. I don't feel there's anything wrong with that. It, there is nothing absolutely wrong with that, saying that you should be huge on your own thing, promote your own thing. And, uh, well, I'll say again that maybe they just enjoy Nigerian songs. And yeah. you know, yeah, but then, I mean, what? <laughs> people have always been talking about this issue. And according to the video, the video is a lengthy one. Mm. Um, it talked about how in Nigeria, the census boards too do not allow things like that, whereby mm. you play foreign song. Mm. The radio stations, TV stations, they have a limit to so what you where can, you can play. Yeah, bring in, but strictly Nigerian songs. I understand what you're saying. Victor Kimani said this about yes. um, Kenya, Kenya music, music. Um, radio stations and their DJs, that why are you guys doing this? You people play more of Nigerian song and even neglect we, the Kenyan artists. Wait, it's not our and fault. The, the, that our music have... is sweet. Shah. Yes, it is not <laughs> our fault. That's what I'm just trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> we are sorry, eh? We are sorry. We are but, very sorry. But, but what he was really talking about more is... But not um, sorry. They, they are celebrating, they are celebrating their, <laughs> year, their year of return where people are coming back to back their home. heritage, coming mm. back home. Mm. You don't want those people to come back home. And they are listening to... Nigerian music. Yeah. So here's what I would say. Um, the Bible says that you should pay attention... The Bible! ...to the ants. Like, look at the ants. You... That, how hard working the aunt is. Look at how hard working the aunt is and copy his ways. I'm going to end it on that yeah. note. <laughs> All right, that's it on Entertainment News.